just putting some different colors there. All right, I'm going to come in with the same liner brush, and I'm just going to grab some green. I'm just going to kind of um, tap in a little grass in front of it. It's not much, but it's just a little bit to block off. And if I, I don't, I don't, I don't mind it because I see it. It's gives it a little. Actually, I think that's a little work. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is grab my um, small bristle brush and I'm just going to tap in some at the bottom here and I'll take care of the fence. Actually I like that so much I may let some of that just kind of um, look like I'm, I'm going to come in the, with some flowers. So. Um, I overlooked my palette because <laughs> I got to find my other palette. Alright, I have some Crimson Red. So I just need a little bit, so I just put me a little bit on the side. I have my um, flat, zero flat um, paintbrush. And so that's, we've got a lot going on on this picture, don't we? <laughs> yeah, that's the fun. That's the fun part, developing. Um, colors. And I'm just coming in here. I have to get, it's a small thing, so I'm using a small paintbrush because I, it's not going to be perfect. the wrong person to paint it if it's got to be perfect. Alright, there's one strip of the red. And uh, let's find the next strip of red. crooked it's cause it's an old old covered bridge <laughs> might be about to fall down I mean don't look like too many travel it anymore because they uh the flowers are have overgrown and the fence is falling down on it and you can't come out the um the covered bridge without hitting the flowers so yeah that's just been neglected the same brush I've, I've washed my brush and I'm just going to grab a little bit of that um, brown and white over here actually I might add a little more white to it where I have made the used it on the fence I might just come in here very I wipe my brush off and just come in a little bit just giving it a little coat on the white 
wipe my brush off when I get me a little bit and just come in here and make it look a little dirty. giving it some oldness about it. I do want a little bird and I'm gonna grab some white here with this with my liner brush I'm sorry. So I'm gonna grab um, with my 20 over zero I'm gonna grab a little bit of white and I'm gonna come right here and see about making a little egg gonna make him some little tail feathers. Now I know he's not a white bird. We're gonna give him some color. Let's see if I can get my liner brush to I've wet it and I've gotten some black and let me just stick my Gotta fix those boobies when they come around because they do come. I have to fix that. So just stop, Jan, and don't mess with that no more. But I can come down here. Small bristle brush. And instead of getting more of the the um the light magenta, I'm just gonna use the one that I made and I'm just gonna come in and put in a few little flowers here. put some over just a little bit over on on them so it looks like okay well they were that's how they were made they were made to be there and so just trying to get all I can get off of it okay And then I'm just going to grab a little bit of that white and try to mix in a little bit more because I'm, I mean, I'm basically at the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> but if I can make it a light pink and just come in here and tap some, which I did, and um, just giving it some different life. Okay, and then I'm just going to grab some of that white, just a little bit, and then I'm going to tap it in a little bit. You know, I told you I like some of that, some of it to be white. That's, there we go now. I grab my um, zero liner brush again and I'm just gonna grab a little bit of that red and come back in here and touch that corner up that just got messed up okay. so it can dry so I've got my little liner brush I put it in a little water and just roll it around in some black here and that should might be a little tacky still. I'm just gonna come around. Very lightly I'm coming around the sun. Or this flag. Okay. What I want to do before I go any further, and I'm gonna hold that brush out, that dirty brown that I had with the brown and white that I made. I'm just going to get a little bit, wipe it off, and I'm going to go into my red a little bit with it too. It just gives it a little, and my little flag area, 
I mean my stars. It just gives it a little old look. So I got some, just wipe it off on my paint on my paper towel. And then just very lightly just add some to the paint. And see it gives it old an old look. And then I'm just gonna come back in with um some wet black a wet paintbrush with some black <laughs> I just dipped it and then I'm just gonna come around come around the rest of the way try to come between these here And you want to do it so lightly because it does take on a bigger one sometimes than what I want. And I wish I could say I had a straight hand, but I don't. bridge with our American flag all right I'm just gonna I've got black already I'm just gonna come in here real small and tap 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 and I'm just gonna do a little bit of just a little bit of lining on his just give him a little um a little black features I'm still gonna use a little liner brush because he, he is small I guess I could have made him bigger, but you know, I'm happy with him like he is. I didn't want a ton of attention to him. Um, I'm just gonna come in here with some red. And the reason I decided to go with the red is because it'll pop. Even though I've got that flag that pops out at us, even with the pink, that flag still pops at us. But that's a little tiny red in front of that that'll pop out at us. Come back in here with just a little bit of black still. Because it just seemed like it covered it up a little bit. Alright, there he is. I'm just gonna put a little tiny white speck, hopefully, for his eye. There we go. Let's see if I can get you to see him a little closer. I'm gonna bring him up if I can. There he is, a little closer to y'all. <laughs> There's only one thing left to do. Hope I have enough black. I've got some uh, water on my um, paintbrush here. And I'm gonna try to thin it out enough to get it to Thin out on my brush. And then I'm just going to come right over here. And sign my name. And that is my series, the end of my series of my. Um, Covered bridges. So this concludes my um, covered bridge with the American flag and also concludes my little series of covered bridges. So um, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you pick up a paintbrush and get into paint, get to painting and loving it as much as I do. Y'all take care and God bless.